Well, howdy. My last video was uh, easy hydroponic strawberry nutrient formula using TPS-1. And it was filmed a week ago. And it was just a bunch of stubble because these plants had just been transplanted. So here we are one week later and these are newly replanted strawberry plants and it's a the variety is seascape and if we pan you can see almost all of them have grown leaves and they look pretty healthy I have one back in the far corner that looks like it might not make it but um, it'll be pretty easy to fill it in when the uh, plants start to run her. So let's zoom in a bit and take a look at some of these. And uh, they are healthy and they are growing pretty well. Um, I'm using TPS-1 and uh, this is it right here. And one of the things about this that I was not aware of, the top, the top pops open so you can have an easier way to pour it. I wasn't, a, a, I, I didn't notice that until just recently. I've been just taking the cap off. But, they're good nutrients and it's a one part so I don't have to mix a whole lot of stuff anymore um, as I said these are seascape uh, strawberries and it's a day neutral variety which is what you want if you're going to grow them indoors because you want something that's going to fruit all year if you plant a June bear you're only going to get one crop and that's not really uh, what you want for indoors. So uh, this is a flood and drain system. And um, these are probably half gallon pots. Um, you don't really need large pots for hydroponics because you're constantly feeding them. If these plants were outside, you might have to water them every day. But inside, they get watered automatically three times a day, so they never dry out. And that's important um, because the pots are not that big. So, um, just a quick update. Wanted to show you these and show you that they're growing. And, um, yeah. So have one back there that has a strawberry flower on it that I think I left it when when I transplanted them but um, as you can see the plants look healthy and uh, what I'm gonna do with these hopefully is keep the runners trim back so that they stay as individual pots and I'll probably replant that one in the corner. Other than that, everything is looking pretty good. So take good care of yourselves. Happy gardening. Don't forget, keep it green. All right, see you all later. Bye-bye.